Hi guys, my name is Jack, also known as Tokobot in BBF. Today I'm going to make a very quick review of the newest revision of CE2, the Clearomizer Revision 5. And this, on my other hand, is the previous version of CE2, the CE2 R4. Aside from their size difference, I noticed that the second or middle silicon cup has been removed in this version. I don't know for what reason, we'll find out. Um, this CE25 can accommodate uh, only 1 ml, while the CE2R4 can accommodate 1.5 to 1.7 ml, and that's the only drawback of this CE25. You have to refill from time to time because 1 ml can last me about for about one hour of moderate vaping. I vape a lot, so I need to uh, refill it from time to time. You need to have a syringe to be able to refill your CE25. Just remove the top cup and inject the juice. You will see two holes at the second cup where you will insert the needle and that's it. Um, what I like most about the CE25 is that I got no burnt taste, no spit back of e-juice, um, no leaking issues, and most of all, no signs of cracking of the tube at the bottom. Because I was really surprised a while ago when I opened my newly CE2R4, I've never used it. Um, I've never used it, not even once. This is a new one. I was really surprised to see signs of cracking at the bottom of the tube, which is one of the issues of CE2R4, which is really normal with uh, plastic tubes. Um, to tell you honestly, the CE25 is one of my favorite cartomizers. Actually, this by far is my favorite. So, I will show you the cartomizer ohm rating. It's rated at 3.4 ohms. And my sweet spot using C25 is between 3.7 volts to 4 volts. I suggest not to go beyond 4.5 volts as you will get burnt taste of e-juice and that's really awful for vapors like us. We don't want to get uh, burnt taste whenever we vape. First, I'm going to show you the vapor production using 3.7 volts. Let's try it out. I suggest not to use dark colored uh, flavor of e-juice as we all know uh, dark colored e-juice can easily clog up your atomizer and your cartomizers or whatever and uh, I also suggest to use single flavor in each uh, CE25 what I do whenever I clean my CE2 uh, cartomizers I remove the top cup and I use a pointed tweezer to remove the second silicon cup the one with the holes just be ve be very careful when removing the second silicon cup as it make as it might break your coil it covers the coil actually don't overfill it then i place it under running water and i take out both ends of the thread like wick and dump it with a uh, paper towel that's how i clean my cartomizers um Let's try out 4 volts using CE25. 4 volts. Let's try it out. By the way, this can be bought from Kuya Jones for 450 pesos for 5 pieces and that's really cheap. I suggest you guys to get one now and prove me wrong. And if you have any uh, inquiries or any concerns regarding your CE25, uh, you can PM or 
ask uh, in the thread uh, you can also ask other vapors who have already acquired the CE25 and we will try our very best to help you out guys before I end the review I will increase the voltage to 4.5 volts to show you the vapor production As for my final verdict, so far so good. I like it. It's really cute and really small. It comes really handy and for its performance, it's a good buy and for its price, it's really cheap. You must what uh, you must get one now and what I like most about the CE205, I got no blunt taste of uh Aegis flavor, which I always get from previous versions of CE2s. So that's it for now. Thanks for viewing. Bye guys.